Yo, what's going on everybody? Servo here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to tame and collect all of the animal companions that just released with the Eternities Isles update. And I'm also going to share with you their favorite food. That way you can do it the most efficiently, the fastest way possible. And it's not going to take very long. Now if you guys do find this video helpful, please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Still only like 53% of people that watch my content and check it out daily are are subscribed so if you want to mind double check make sure that you are and let's head over to eternity isle and get started Alrighty, now that we're here we're going to go and take a look at the companions so if we go over here and we go to eternity isle we click on critters you can see that we have all of these companions here and they are broken up into three different types so we have the monkeys the capybaras and the cobras if you go to the map the capybaras are going to be over here in the green biome, the wild tangled. The cobras are only going to be found over here in the desert and also one of them in the oasis. So this left side of the map. And the monkeys are going to be down here in ancient landings. This is the first region that you actually spawn in. Back over there at the critters, as you see the blue and red striped cobra, it says it's over there in the wastes. The pink spotted cobra is in the oasis and the green one is in the borderland. So it shows the different sections within the biome as to where they're going to be. So the first one we're going to look for is the classic cobra. It says it's here all day and you find it in the plains. So we know that the plains is right here in the glittering dune so we're going to teleport right over there now you can feed them many things but the cobra's favorite food is going to be eggs so let's go ahead and find him you uh, there's also a lot of people talking about the scorpion being at the cobra's favorite food but unfortunately it is not the case and they do like eggs you can get eggs from remy's shop so let me just keep looking until i can actually find him the biomes are rather large so it might take you a minute but there he is now to tame the cobra you want him to come up to you and he's going to be like the raccoons when he raises his head up you go um you stop when he lowers it you go forward like this so he raises it stop he lowers it go forward just a little bit be patient don't get too eager don't get too greedy or you won't be able to get it and whenever he finishes he's going to make that little uh, animation there and now we're just going to feed him some eggs that we got from remy's shop and as you see, this is his very favorite food. It's actually very easy. It's pretty cheap to get. And you don't have to go out there and harvest anything. So that is how you tame the cobras. Like I said, you can also go and get like some scorpions, which you can fish out from this area over here. But uh, I find it easier just to go ahead and collect the eggs. Now, another one that is here today I could get is the pink spotted cobra. It's here from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m., but it's over there in the oasis. The problem with that is if you're just joining in, you see the oasis is actually locked. To be able to get to it, you have to unlock this right here, which is going to cost you a 6,000 mist, which is actually a lot. I'm going to try and grind that out. That way I have access to it and I can go ahead and feed that cobra over there. Now we're going to head over there and start taming the capybara. Now the best way and the favorite food for the capybara is cabbage. So we're going to go over here and we are going to purchase some cabbage seeds and I'm going to go ahead and plant it. So we're going to go ahead and grab one of those. It's 150. We are located over here in the grasslands. You also have the grove. There's the lagoon, the promenade. So this is over in the wild tangled. Down here on ingredients, the cabbage is found in the grasslands, promenade, the grove, the lagoon, that, the lagoon at that area. It takes one hour to grow. I don't know about you, but I don't have time for that. So I'm going to go ahead and plant it right here. Let me collect this stuff. We're going to plant it. And then I'm going to have my elixir that is on my watering can to instantly grow it. So there we go. Now we can collect the cabbage and we are all set. Let's take a look and see which capybara is here today. So the black and white one is not. He's found over in the promenade. The blue one is here in the grove. The classic is in the grasslands. The red and white is in the lagoon and the gray spotted is also in the lagoon. So it is here. So let's see, where is the lagoon and the grasslands? The lagoon is blocked off. So you're going to have to spend mist to get over there. So we're going to go back over here to the entrance at the grasslands and see if we can actually get them. There are three sections here in the grasslands. This one, this one, and this tiny area over here is that's actually where I found him. So he's over here. Now to tame him, let's just go up there to him. 
and approach him. So they're actually very friendly. We're going to feed him some cabbage. He's super happy about it. And there we go. He loves it. His favorite food. And it is complete. All right. So last but not least is the monkeys. Probably my favorite companion in the game. Currently, we're going to go to critters. You can see the black and gray monkey is here in the ruins. And then at the courtyard. And then ruins for this one. The red and beige is over in the overlook. And the classic monkey is in the docks. Same with the other biomes. It's over here in the Ancients Landing. You have the courtyard right here. You have the ruins to overlook these two. You're going to have to spend mist to go over there. But you do have the docks right here. So we're actually going to go for this monkey here. And they're actually, they're not difficult to tame. But they are kind of challenging. I mean, it's a monkey. You know how they act. So just go up to him. He's going to run away. And you just keep doing this until you wear him down. And uh, it's pretty much just like the foxes. So just keep following him. It's going to take you a while sometimes. They're pretty crazy. They're pretty chaotic. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and keep going back and forth. There we go. It says approach. Now, they love five-star meals. There's also a lot of word about banana pies going around. You can feed them three-star meals if you want. But the best way is to just feed them any five-star meal. So I'm going to give him this large seafood platter. And he's going to absolutely love me for it. So there you go, little guy. Eat up. And that is how you tame all three of the companions. Super easy. He gave me um, a crystal already. Now, it is going to take you a while to actually tame all of them. So if you want the monkey, make sure that you go ahead and play the expansion. Check your mailbox and you can get the little jester monkey right here. It's actually very cute. So this monkey, if you take a look at his um, animations, it's actually really cool. Like, look how cute he is. Let me see if I can brighten it up with a filter. There we go. So uh, he does like that. I mean, that's exactly the, the expression I think a monkey would do. It's like he's taunting us. They wave. Your character does. These are great for dream snaps because you can pause it at so many like cute moments. And he also like interacts if another player is nearby. He'll look at it. Or if like um, Eve or another villager is nearby, he'll kind of look at him like that. So you could take a cute little picture. And we have another little monkey right here following me. This is so cute. But he's in his little jester outfit. And this is just one of the pose I thought was just so adorable. Now, I don't have a cobra just yet, but I do have the flowery capybara. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at its um, animations. So he does this pose. The face is a little awkward. <laughs> I mean, if you catch it mid shot, but there is this part, which is really cute where they're actually petting it. And this looks it looks pretty cute for some dream snaps. You can get some interesting angles with it but the capybaras are definitely super cute i'm definitely more of a fan of the monkeys though but they're a close second the cobras are cool but i just haven't got to collect them yet just to see and then to finish off the video real quickly we'll just take another look at all of these so you do have the beige monkey at 12 p.m to 12 a.m today at the ruins the black and brown monkey we got the black and gray monkey the black and white capybara the snakes are really cool. I think my favorite one, the classic Cobra actually looks cool. It's definitely like Jafar vibes. But the pink spotted Cobra looks really cool to me. The blue and red one's nice. We have the blue striped Capybara. This is probably my favorite one out of the Capybaras. I think it looks really cute. The classic is okay. We got the classic monkey. The gray spotted one, it looks like a cow. We have the green and white striped Cobra. The red and beige monkey at the red and white striped capybara. And last but not least, we have the yellow and purple striped cobra. But I hope this video helped you guys out a lot, or at least gave you a little bit of a better understanding of how it works over here in the valley and some things that you can do to feed them. There are other options to like tame them, but those are some of their like favorite foods that just give you the most efficiency. And I think that's the best way to go about it. They're all easily obtainable. You know, getting cabbage is super easy. Getting eggs is a very, very easy. And then cooking five-star meals is very easy. Even if you're early on in the game, you can still cook some uh, five-star meals pretty easily so anyways that's it for the video i hope you guys have a really wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one